All right, so All right. Matt, are we done with this heat? Yeah, I mean, we had a success story today, I would say, with daytime highs below 105. Yeah. Even below 104. Right trend. Yeah, I can't say below 103, but we'll, we'll say 103. <laughs> How about that? Not bad considering what we have seen over the course of the last 72 hours. So 103, notice it's still very hot up in Havasu at 13, 111 up in uh, Phoenix. That's courtesy of that area of high pressure moving off to the northwest. Also courtesy of the fact that they are just typically hotter than the city of Tucson this time of year. Gorgeous uh, late afternoon slash early evening on this Thursday. You can see commuters getting by east and westbound on uh, Broadway. Uh, Wilmot currently at the red light. 103, last check of the airport. 56 in dew point, so that's up. We have some good things going in our favor to see storms in the next couple of days and even tonight. But the question is, I don't think they're going to come as far west. That's more the answer. The question is, do they come to Tucson? The answer is, I don't think they come that far west. 102 in Oro Valley, 100 east siders. It's 102 currently at Ryan Field, so a much more temperate day of weather, wouldn't you say? 96 in Bisbee, it's 94 Sierra Vista. Plan for tonight looks like this 90s by about 8 o'clock. How about 80s at 11 o'clock? So we are certainly seeing temperatures falling more rapidly than they have the last couple of nights. Couple areas of storms really popping up across the muggy on rim. Here's batch number one. If we have any hope of seeing some showers, it's this batch that's currently moving to the south. But some of these storms, if they get pretty intense, they look pretty good to me could create some outflow boundaries. Remember, that's the wind that blows ahead of these storms, and sometimes those boundaries can create new storms. That would be our only hope because it doesn't look like those are directly headed to Tucson. More activity across eastern sections of Cochise County, so you see why I'm saying farther east than the city of Tucson. As we make our way up north, I know this isn't our viewing area, but some good storms just near the Prescott area right now. Meanwhile, here's our latest high resolution rapid refresh model, and it does keep the trend of some scattered showers and storms, but once again, keeps that trend mostly to the east of the city of Tucson, so we may have to wait until tomorrow or so. Tomorrow's monsoon prediction index, 3 out of 10, and on Saturday, about a 4 out of 10, Sunday 4 out of 10, so the weekend looking wet at times. That's a good thing. We need the rain. Uh, don't think it's going to rain all weekend, certainly, so don't cancel your outdoor plans, but keep your eyes in the skies and uh, your forecasts right here at News 4 Tucson. 80s for lows, daytime highs tomorrow back on the triple digits, but about a degree cooler even tomorrow than we saw today. 40% chance of storms in Cochise and Santa Cruz County. 102, 30% chance, and there's your weekend 40% uh, chance of storm days, Saturday and Sunday. Daytime highs, upper 90s to near 100, and then maybe slowing things down a little bit Monday through Thursday of next work week, but certainly revving up storm chances and certainly cooling down the air temperatures. I think those two things most people joy around here this time of year. He increased the temps on Saturday and Sunday from yesterday. Though. Did I? What, yeah. a degree or two? Yeah, a couple. That happens occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> it's not one day. I was looking forward to 97. Okay, it'll be 99. All right. Still ahead on News 4 Tucson.